Right, here I go again. I'm going to do one more video, then I'm going to pop around to that shop, get the garden, it's just around the corner, to, to talk to Mike. I don't know what it is he wants me to talk about, but I hope it's the gospel. I hope he wants to know how to be saved. Um, but anyway, please pray for Mike, won't you? Right, here we go, guys. I just had a conversation with this lovely man behind me. He was born again. Such a cheery uh, chap. He's just rejoiced my soul a bit. Anyway, there are some nice people around, you know. It's, it's not like everybody that um, hates the gospel. It's just a lot of people don't. They're not open about it, you know. They don't, they don't come out with their faith. It's frightened a lot of the time. Frightened the persecution or whatever, you know. Lots of reasons. Anyway, here we go. Don't be afraid. The fear of man brings a snare for your feet. But he who trusts in the Lord shall be saved. So don't don't fear, guys. I sought the Lord and he heard me and he delivered me from all my fears. So here we go. God bless you, Bridlington. I have come here to tell you that God loves you. I have come here to tell you how simple it is to be saved with everlasting life and know you're going to heaven and not going down to hell for eternity. I've come to tell you what it says in the Bible. The Bible is the holy word of God. It's the only solid truth we have left in this world. The Bible. It says that we have all sinned and we all fall short of the glory of God and that the wages of sin is death but the free gift of God which God wants to give everyone according to the Bible is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord now I'm not talking about being religious or even going to church every Sunday no, I'm talking about having some faith and believing on the Son of God Jesus Christ who gave himself for us, who died on the cross for us. Jesus died for us, for our sin. He took our place. We should have been on that cross. But no, Jesus took the penalty in full for our lifetime of sin when you believe. And he was buried and rose again from the dead on the third day as it is written according to the scriptures in the holy word of god and when you believe this when you believe that jesus died for you on that cross and you're not afraid or ashamed to say i need you jesus yes i, I realize i'm a sinner in need of a savior and you call upon him you will be saved simple as that god has made it so simple it's men that complicate things and a lot of this is coming from churches if you can find a church that's good, then great. But unfortunately, our churches are failing us. So that's why God is sending people onto the streets to tell you, to tell you how simple it is to be saved. Doesn't matter how much evil you've done in your life. Doesn't matter. Jesus will not turn you away. He will cancel out, he will blot out all your sin, your lifetime, your past, present and future sin. If you will, but believe on him. Believe. Have some faith. Believe. Jesus is the Son of God. He was sacrificed on the cross. Because it is written that there is no forgiveness of sin without the shedding of blood. And God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus, to be that sacrifice. To shed his blood on the cross for the forgiveness of our lifetime of sin. He was buried and he rose again from the dead on the third day according to the scriptures. That's the blessed gospel. The moment you believe it, you'll be justified, saved, sealed, sanctified, and with everlasting life. You'll never lose your salvation. You'll have a one-way ticket to heaven, and you'll escape the damnation of hell. Please, turn to the Lord Jesus, because we are living in the final moments of the end of this age. Jesus Christ is coming. The Bible says that we don't know the day or the hour. But Jesus said, when you see all these things happening, that are happening around the world right now, he says, when you see these things begin to take place, then look up for your redemption draws nigh. And all these things have been happening. The, the, the beginning of sorrows 
earthquakes, pestilence, all these things have been going on for quite some time now. So we can conclude, all Christians who are watching around the world, we're expecting the Lord Jesus any moment, every day. We are looking up and expecting the Lord Jesus. So please, if you haven't been saved, if you haven't been born again, if you haven't believed the gospel of the Lord Jesus, please do so today, because there is no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Jesus Christ said, I am the door. By me, if any man shall enter in, he shall be saved. He shall go in and out and find pasture. The thief, Satan, the god of this age, he comes only to steal, kill and destroy and distract you away from the Lord Jesus Christ so that you don't believe, so that you don't get saved, so that you end up in hell. That's the devil's job. Don't let him. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. Believe on what Jesus did for us. Don't be ashamed of the Son of God, because if you're ashamed of Him, He's going to be ashamed of you. And if you deny Him, He'll deny you. That means you won't make it into heaven, and you will find yourself in hell. God doesn't want this. The Bible says that God wants none to perish, but that He wants all to be saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus. He's not asking you to go to church. God is not asking you to get all religious. He's only asking one thing of you from your heart, and that is that you believe the good news, that there is everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord for everybody that believes, no matter what you have done. Turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. He has promised that he will not turn anyone away who comes to him. Just be true, be real, be honest and humble enough to say, of course I have sinned, like the Bible says we all have sinned. Be humble enough to recognise your need for a saviour. You can't save yourself. What are you going to do if you were to be on your deathbed? Are you going to believe in yourself? That you're, you're going to save your own soul? That's ridiculous. There's only one name under heaven given to us by which we must be saved, and it is Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I am the door. By me, if any man shall enter in, he shall be saved. Be an any man. Jesus Christ said, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and I give unto them everlasting life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Turn to the Lord Jesus Christ, because we are living in the final moments of the end of this age. Jesus is coming. The rapture of the church will take place very, very soon. I don't receive any offence. God bless you, madam. Jesus loves you. I take no offence. I'm so used to people being horrible to me just for me telling them that God loves them. Well, I'm telling you today, Brindis, and God loves you, but the cl clock is ticking. Time is running out. Jesus Christ is coming, and if you haven't believed on him, please believe on him now. Otherwise, you're going to get a rude awakening when all these people, children, babies, disappear, when Jesus snatches them up to heaven, and you'll be left behind to face the apocalypse. Then you'll remember what I said. Then you'll remember and think, oh my, why didn't we listen to that? guy why did we think that guy was a nutcase why didn't we believe on the lord jesus you'd be left behind to face the apocalypse seven years when god will pour out his wrath and his judgments his righteous judgments upon this world this wicked world which has turned its back on the living god an unrepentant unbelieving world when the Bible says that God is not far from each and every one of us. And Jesus said, if you seek, you will find. So seek the Lord while he may be found and call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way, forget his way, and then turn to the Lord. Return unto the Lord and he will abundantly pardon. Turn to the Lord Jesus. The moment you turn to him in truth, he will pour out his love into your heart. So much love. 
Jesus died on that cross. That's the greatest love story ever. He died for the sins of the whole world, for anybody and everybody who would believe on him. He was beaten so badly he was unrecognizable. Jesus Christ. Then they nailed him to that cross. And he died. He shed his blood on that cross for the forgiveness of all our sin, our lifetime of sin. He was buried and rose again from the dead on the third day according to the scriptures. And if you shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, and you're not afraid nor ashamed to say, I need you Jesus, come into my life, and you believe that he died for you on that cross, and he rose again from the dead, you will be saved, sealed, justified, sanctified, glorified with everlasting life. You'll never lose your salvation. You're the one way ticket to heaven, and you'll escape the damnation of hell, where people go who reject the love of the truth. Hell is a place of outer darkness, the Bible says. Jesus talked more about hell than he did heaven. Because he wanted to warn the people of this terrible place called outer darkness where people go who reject the love of the truth. Jesus, who said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Well, all who reject the free gift of God, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ, can expect to find themselves spending eternity there. And that's why I'm here. Because God doesn't want one to spend eternity in hell. God wants none to perish. And all can be saved. No matter who you are. No matter what you have done. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Be a whosoever. Don't take the gamble that there's no heaven, that there's no hell. Don't take the gamble that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, isn't who he says he is. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. In other words, no man shall make it to heaven but through the Lord Jesus. You've got to believe, that's all. Once you repent unto salvation once. Salvation is a one-time event which happens the moment you truly believe that yes, Jesus died on the cross for all our sin. He shed his blood for my sin. Yes, I believe it in my heart that he rose again from the dead. Come into my life, Lord Jesus, and you'll be saved and you'll realize that was the best and most important thing you ever did in this world was to believe the truth. Time is running out. One day, I come to Bridgington quite often, but one day I won't be coming because I'll be raptured up to heaven with all Christians, all little children and babies, which are innocent. So believe, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Because there are many paths in this life that seem right to men, but the ends thereof are of destruction. Jesus is the only path. He said, I'm the way, the right path he is, the truth. He will lead you into all truth. And he's the life, the everlasting life. God bless you, Bridlington. I haven't come here to condemn or judge anyone. I've come here just to tell you, time is running out. And if you haven't accepted the Lord Jesus at this very late hour, then please do so today. For the hour is late. The night is far spent, and the day of Christ is at hand. Jesus is coming. Don't be left behind to face the apocalypse. You will still be able to be saved during the apocalypse, but you'll have your head chopped off by the Antichrist. God bless you. Stop it now. I've had a few people shout some abuse at me, but nothing out of the ordinary all right so I'll go around there and talk to Mike I'm just gonna pray before I go, go and speak to him all right guys I do love you all very much I hope Jesus comes any any second I'm hoping without him I, I don't know how people live without him seeing all this stuff going on in the world and you know they're without him without Jesus there's no hope there's no hope, no real hope.
Jesus is the living hope. 